hey, 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 and welcome to Brooklyn's Barbie Bay. And today, guess what? Our background is different because just like you all, I'm in bed. And so I've decided today's episode is going to be 100% on us unboxing our dolls while we are resting and getting our night on. So I've got a couple of dolls tonight that I want to unbox with you all, starting with this Barbie Looks doll. Uh, I finally got my number 17 doll that came in the mail. As you can see, I ordered him from Target because Target's got that lust, lucky little um, bar scan on it. But I wanted to go ahead and grab him out of the box. Tonight, we're going to be unboxing a couple of dolls. Some older dolls, some newer dolls, but just wanted to start today with our nighttime unboxing. That's right, we're unboxing from the bedside tonight. Let's go ahead and get him out of the package. Okay, so now that we have our um, Ken doll out of the packaging, I just want to show you guys what he looks like now that he is um, out of the packaging. He comes with a white pair of sneakers, some pink pants, and a um, purple top. Like a, I want to say this is more of a um, tank top, but it's kind of like that jersey kind of material, like if you were playing basketball, as you can see there um he, i love him because he's got that island pacific face kind of like he's island pacific and i love that i don't have a kin like him i love the fact that he's got this flocked hair and then as you can also see look at the part on the flocked hair isn't that cute so he's a nice little manly face um so he's a you know nice he's made to move doll so definitely going to keep him a part of the barbie verse he looks amazing and then you guys he comes with um, a stand as well so you know you always come with that Barbie certificate Barbie looks and then he also has his um, stand as well so this is a cute doll I think I got him for like $22 um, on Target and he probably still is on Target as well okay so let's look at the next toy that well the next doll that we have to review Okay, so the next doll I have is my Barbie Rewind doll that I received. Um, I got her maybe like a couple of months ago and I never opened her or, rewind, or rewinded her. Um, I love it because as we take her out, as you can see, she comes in like the stereotypical pack that she came in. As you can see, it's our beautiful doll here. Um, she's got some accessories and things in here, so I'm really ready to get her out of the box and give her a show to you guys. So let's have a look-see at our Barbie Rewind doll from, it looks like the 80s. Okay, so let's see. If she's got those pop bend knees, you guys, it's over for me. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, so here is our beautiful Barbie doll. And she comes on this really cute um, tape cassette stand, which is super cute. She has on these little white shoes, you guys. Um, she's got her pink tights on. She's got her original dress on. And our doll is looking magnificent. Very, very cute. She also comes with these pink and white glasses. Okay. She also comes with a white purse with pink with a pink bow on it. She also comes with another like Barbie bag. It's blue with um, pink writing and it says Barbie on it. She also comes with a comb like back in the day. And then she also comes with her hat. Very cute little hat. And I'll have to take the plastic off. And lastly, she comes with this really big Barbie um, purse, which what I like about this is that it does open okay so let me see if i can see how it opens any other time hold on okay so i got it open and as you can see there's nothing inside but i'm quite sure you can find a couple of things that you can put into this doll set and it's super super cute so this is what this barbie doll looks like she looks exactly like the original Barbie, even her little hair swoop here is, um, it's got a little product in it, but it's not super hard, which I really like that. She does have those bend knees, which I'm super excited for. Um, and she's like a throwback era. So she's not like necessarily a doll. I kind of like play with, play with, but I definitely am going to put her in my room, um, because she is my throwback girl. So absolutely love this set. Really cute as a collector. You've got some items and some things that you can play with her on. But the doll absolutely is gorgeous. 
and really really glad that we have her I also wanted to show you guys that her arms do have some articulation in them here at the elbows okay just because I, I totally forgot that and I was like oh you know what they're probably wondering like how does she move but she does have some articulation so she definitely will be in the series of other dolls and I'm loving that part of it I definitely want to change her dress um, cause she's giving me that retro in the face and the dress, but in this Barbie verse, we want to absolutely give her some up to date styling. Yay. Okay. On to our next doll. Okay. My next doll is the fresh dolls. Um, and I have two, the first one I'm, that I am opening, it says is, um, new fresh vanity, I mean, infinity wear. So I'm excited about her. I have a ton of fresh dolls and this is Keisha. So let's go ahead and give Ke get Keisha out of the box and see what we are working with. Such a pretty girl. Okay, so now that we got her out of the box, very, very pretty doll. As you can see, her face sculpt is gorgeous. She has on this beautiful wrapped infinity dress that it looks like you can tie the doll uh, and rewrap her different, several different ways. It, the dress comes all the way down to like, like a mermaid flare. And then she also comes with... Let me lay her down right here but she also comes with two pair of shoes and the shoes are purple at the bottom so kind of like those red bottom shoes but they are green with purple and we'll put those on her in a second but I also wanted to show you um, on this doll um, the back of her dress is gorgeous she's got her back out and they've kind of tied it here you can see where their velcro is here where you can open it and her hair is a high ponytail you guys off to the side which is so cute kind of has like a little wrap to it and she's absolutely gorgeous I love this doll let me put her shoes on really quick so now here she is with her gorgeous shoes on very very pretty I love this Keisha looks amazing absolutely amazing and I'm gonna sit Keisha right here because um, right next to her I have Autumn um, which is the next doll in the series and you can see she's got pink shoes and she's got a different hairstyle and it looks like she might be made um, the same with the dress but let me open her up and let's get a look-see okay and now here is Miss Beautiful Autumn and the exact same um, beautiful dress except for her shoes as you guys can see are pink I don't know if you all have um, these uh, fresh dolls but they're they are just so absolutely gorgeous. This is, I believe, the third or fourth series of dolls. I want to say the third series. But her hair is absolutely gorgeous. So her hair is curly. And I just want you guys to see this because in the insides where her hair is, baby, they have laid these curls. There is no product in them. They are absolutely beautiful. The hair feels amazing on the doll. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. Her face sculpt is absolutely amazing as well. You can see they've kind of done a lot of differences as far as the doll's faces um, in this go round. So just absolutely gorgeous she is. Autumn is absolutely gorgeous. And her dress is pink, has the same um, back out in the back as um, Keisha's does. And I'm looking forward to adding these girls to our Dolly, our Dolly verse as well. Just absolutely gorgeous. The dresses are gorgeous. And I believe you can absolutely shape these dresses any way that you want with these wraps. So you can wrap it here. You can wrap it around the neck. You can give them no back out. You really can um, put these girls to use um, in some beautiful gowns should you choose to. So today I have um, the beautiful autumn and I have beautiful Keisha so I'm so glad I've got two new girls in my set I think I have like from this new set one two three four I don't know how many I'm missing but I definitely for $12.99 you guys I think I, I purchased these for at Target and I believe they were $12.99 or either $14.99 don't quote me but still they're under $15 so go and grab you a couple of fresh dolls if you have them in your city all right okay let's keep going we got a ways to go Okay, so guys, guess what? I was in my favorite spot the other day. I was in Ross. As you guys know, I'm always looking for doll finds. And I found this puppy party set um, with this doll and a whole puppy set. And I just want to show you guys how much I got this for. $9.99. Okay, so there is no reason for no one at this point to not be 
trickling around and finding you a couple of doll toys or a couple of things for your doll sets. Um, and I wanted to kind of go in and show you guys um, this doll set because even though you might not necessarily play with her, I don't know if you might want just the outfit, if you want the dogs itself. I don't do Play-Doh and stuff like that, but definitely want to show you what came in this set. So let's get right to it. Okay, here are some of the things that came inside the set, outside the doll. We'll start here. So you get a bigger dog, dog with a hat on. Then you have a smaller dog with a hat on. And I believe the hats also come off, as you can see. Okay. We'll put him down. It came with like a little thing of flowers. It looks like it's the, one of the dog's birthday parties. So you also get two dog bowls. You get um, a little um, ball here for the dogs to play with. You have some Play-Doh, which is pink and white. Um, and this is for what looks like this little machine that helps you to make. Um, I guess you put the clay in and it helps to make like a little doggy bone on that. You know I'm definitely not playing with that. And then you have a gift box for your dog that absolutely opens. So you can like maybe put the ball in there for the dog as the toy, um, as a gift. So all of these are the accessories that come to the set. And then you also have the Barbie doll and the Barbie doll herself, she is articulated from the waist down. So, you know, her neck, her knees can move. Um, she comes with, sorry, let me back her up. She comes with this um, dress on, okay, with sunflowers. Her hair is like a regular, you know, we've seen this Barbie's face scope on plenty dolls already. And she comes with a pair of white sneakers. So I felt like for $10, this is like a really cute kind of set for your dolls to kind of play with. Um, and if you wanted a doll that has some animals or you needed some animal thingies, I mean, for $10, you've got that as well. So I'm not going to play with that part, but definitely going to um, put everything together in case I do a giveaway or something like that down the line. Um, but I love this little um, sunflower dress with a pair of different shoes. Of course, Barbie always does this with these shoes and our dolls. Um, but not sure if I'm going to keep the doll itself. I mean, she's got articulation at the bottom, but not really at the top. And the fact that her arms are made kind of like this aggravates the mess out of me for real. Oh, don't leave me. Okay, we'll think about it. All right, we've got one last doll and I'm excited to show you guys this one. All right, we have a throwback tonight. Yes, it's my Barbie 2000, the year of 2000 doll. And it's a collection edition and I've been wanting to get her out of the box. And you guys know what? I'm just in a in a mood right now where I'm kind of like, I want to unbox all my old dolls. They're not going to do any good sitting in a shelf. And God forbid something ever happened. Where is it going to go? You know, somebody's going to eventually want to take it out and see how it is. And this doll is 23 years old. Okay. So I definitely want to take her out and give her her moment and her time to shine. So let's get her out of this rickety box. As you can see, she's our Barbie 2000 and she is absolutely 23 years of age. So let's take her out the box and let's have a look. Okay. You guys, she is absolutely beautiful absolutely when i took her out of the box i had to remember she had all those plastic ties like tied down her shoes right here keep coming off like they won't stay on but that's okay there's some you know little red shoes but i can always you know dazzle them up with something different um and i love the fact that her beautiful cape can come off right still everything is in perfect quality you guys if you just look the cape is absolutely perfect um you know, everything looks really, really good. Her beautiful dress is gorgeous. I just want to get into this. It has 2000 all over it. She's got um, some earrings on that are like stars with the red in the inside. And she has that same thing on the top of her hair. Look at the little side swoop back then in 2000. Like they're doing all these, you know, um, edges and stuff on. But the girls were doing it before. Okay. And letting you all have it. Um, if you have a look now, look at her necklace that's a part of her dress. And her dress is a nice, you know, slimming type dress. You turn her around. She looks adorable. Just beautiful. Her arms, you know, she's got that five-point articulation. 
on her as well. Her head moves side to side, up and down. She's a very pretty doll. I definitely want to keep her. Um, she has the bend and pose. I just let you hear them, the bend and click legs. So, um, but she's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so glad I got a chance to open her. Like, she's gorgeous. I cannot wait to play with her. I feel like these older dolls can be like the mothers to the new dolls, right? So as we get ready to put together our Dollyverse, she definitely would be someone's regal mother. You know, um, I don't know how I would redo her hair. I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm going to have my daughter kind of maybe restyle it. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I'm going to just put her on her. Oh, sorry. She also came with a certificate. And look how old this little stand is. This Barbie Club collectible stand. And you know they're old back in the day when they just kind of clicked in and then it was just like this, right? Um, so these are some of the dolls that we had a chance to look at today. I'm just really enjoying her. But thank you guys so much for taking some time and stopping by on my bedside unboxing. As I'm unboxing my dolls while I'm relaxing in the bed and just sharing some of these older dolls, newer dolls that I have with you guys. I'll start doing a couple more of these as I go. This just allows me some time to unbox some of the things that I never get a chance to unbox, but also share it with you. Those shoes are so cute. So if you have a moment, please don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. Also, if you're um, not subscribing, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I'm just a real girl that loves dolls and loves to talk about them and show them to you, that whole nine. Um, and then if you like, slide down in my comments. Let me know what you think about this section. Let me know which doll you like the most. Um, and if there's any older dolls that you'd like to see me um, unbox, I've got tons. I've got Monster High. We've got Rainbow High. We've got older dolls that are still in packaging, guys. And during these nighttime little um, binges of doll play, we're going to definitely unbox them and get some of these great looking girls. Okay. Well, thank you guys again. Have an amazing day. And once again, thank you guys so much for checking out Brooklyn's Barbie Bay. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.